All right, String Slingers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank Spear, that guitar guy. And yeah, you're looking at it. You're looking right at it. The Rumble Seat by Analog Alien. Three effects in one pedal. That's right. You heard right. Three effects in one pedal. Guys, I've been playing guitar for a lot of years. This is my 45th year playing guitar. And I got to tell you, this is one of the greatest pedals I've ever owned. I actually own two of them. I've had it almost three years and it's working just as good as it did on day one. This pedal has a reverb, a delay, and an overdrive built right into it. And they're all top-notch studio quality effects. The reverb is modeled on a vintage blackface Fender. And it's outstanding. All the effects are outstanding. Let me give you a listen. I'm playing my Gretsch White Falcon today. And here's what the caulk amplifier, the Greg Caulk model, sounds like straight up. I have the EQ flat, the tone flat, and whatnot. No reverb on the amp. Now I'm going to pump on this reverb from the rumble seat. And <laughs> this thing goes from literally beautiful to the Grand Canyon. All right, here we go. Pop her on. Just put her up just a tiny bit and look what you get already. Already lush and juicy. I'm letting you hear that tail. That may even be too much for some people already. We haven't even got it up. We can get it, well, got it up. We can get it down a little bit here. That's not on. There you go. There's just the tiniest bit. Get it up about quarter, the quarter of the way. <laughs> Folks, there's more reverb in this pedal than any human being could ever possibly need. And it's gorgeous reverb. It's creamy. I don't know how well it's going to translate on the video, but it's creamy. <laughs> Let's get it halfway up. Buckle up, buttercups. City, man. All right, let's get it up here. Ooh, three o'clock. called Analog Alien. has a delay on it actually
So you can see it's clearly more than you would ever need. Or maybe you do need that. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your reverbs. But I'm sure it's not legal. All right, let's get this back down to reasonable. Set, the setting right there, you can't see. It's very small. It says reasonable. <laughs> That's probably about where I'd keep it, maybe a little less. Now, next to it, over here, you got its buddy, its next door neighbor right here, this delay. And this delay goes up to 650 milliseconds from 25. I'd keep it right here on a slap back. So I get that rockabilly thing going. I'd probably bring that reverb down a hair. Okay, so I've got that set on one repeat. You can go. You can go all the way up to infinite. I gotta be honest with you, that scared me. So now you get this. This is the mix, right? So it's how much of the effect you're bringing in. All the way off. Turn the reverb off. You got nothing. Bring it up a hair. You're just making the effect louder. You're bringing it more into the mix. upon itself which is awesome all right and of course you can adjust the amount not only the amount of repeats and the amount of the mix but the delay time all the way up to 650 so you've got put the reverb back in let's bring that let's bring the uh repeats down okay Okay. good is that delay let's get it all the way up there let's get less repeats a little bit up in the mix probably use it somewhere around here right for like more of a 
David Gilmore-ish. to the overdrive okay if you have the gain completely off I've got the tone set straight up and down right in the center there and the output he here I don't even have the gain on obviously if I kick it on now you see I don't even have the gain turned up it's acting more like a boost for the amp now here's the amp straight up I put the output up a little bit I'm getting it, I'm getting my same sound, just a boost to it for solos. Now let's give it a little juice. Woo! That's just a little bit of that gain too, and I've got the tone. Check out the tone is really dramatic in its sweep. If you cut, you're actually boosting bass. Right, because there's not a treble and bass and mid control, it's just a tone control right there. If you cut it, you're boosting the bass a bit. Let's go back up to center. Also, extremely creamy. I mean, you can get into metal territory, right? We didn't even pump up the gain hardly at all over here. We're at 9 o'clock. If I put this down all the way and boost the bass as much as it'll go on this unit. Quarter way up. Straight up, noon. Remember, we haven't even touched the gain yet, really. I mean, so we can get in, if we drop it back down. All the way off. Up a hair. Halfway up. Whoa, I'm in Van Halen territory. I'm a Gretsch, man. That's for another day. That's another story. Let's get it up here. Uh oh, I better boost, I better bring the output down. All right, 
right, that's all the way up. Let's take the ride. Let's do it. <laughs> That is good stuff. <laughs> Folks, there you have it in one single box. The rumble seat from Analog Alien. Man, you can't beat this orange pedal. Go get yourself one. Outstanding studio effects. I mean, you got to be blown away by this pedal. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get it at the best possible price at this time. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are the best. I appreciate you. See you in the next one.